Good morning, everyone. Razorblade Mango here, and what a what a joyful day it is. What a joyful morning it is because we got a new Nintendo Direct Mini Shadow dropped this morning. So obviously, I couldn't do a live stream for it. So this is just gonna be my live reaction to it. Like literally, I, I, this is not a separate recording for this intro. This is I'm literally about to watch it right now on my computer. So here we go. Please note, due to the COVID release dates and other presented this video, subject to change, yada, yada, yada. Our hearts go out to all those impacted by COVID-19 during these challenging times. Yeah. Good of him to do that. That's very nice. That's a nice message. Mini! All right. Let's see what they got. I had some stuff spoiled for me already, but Long for the most part. What's this? Two great titans came into existence. Oh, Xenoblade. The Bionis and the Maconis. I think it's Xenoblade, at least. The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their life yeah, that's is remained. Yeah, that's Xenoblade, yeah. I figure, yeah, this, this one was one of the easy predictions. If you were to ask me what they were going to show for a Nintendo Direct, I'd do this. It can't be. No way. It's a... Mechon. Commence the assault on Bionis. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon hmm. armor. If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! <laughs> oh, that voice acting. Yeesh. There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. Whoa. Okay. I know you won't believe this. See, I've never played the first one, so this would all be new that. for me. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The only things I know about Xenoblade are that it's got Shulk in it and that Yoko Shimomura does some of the music. The future I see. It isn't set. Father! So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Yeah, it's got really nice music. Mekon. Jesus. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Same day as The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, no. Sorry, Xenoblade. You're gonna have to wait. Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected? What's this? Is this like an expanded thing to it? Because I heard that they didn't include... They're including a lot of like cut content from the original game. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the the cut content. Huh. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. Hmm. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. I'm still, I still think it's gonna be convoluted as shit. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Oh. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. Whoa. And a new epilogue, a new story. Mm. Future Connected yeah. will cap off the main <clears throat> game. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May Yeah, 29th. sorry Xenoblade. Can uh, Last of Us Part 2 today. comes before. That's also, a priority. On May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page oh. art book. Wow, that looks nice. I mean, I'm not going to get it, but it Hi, look, everyone, looks nice. And welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games. And we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Mm. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Yes, please. Three of 2K's most beloved. See, I've. I've okay, this was one of the things that was spoiled for me. 
Bioshock, yeah. Oh, infinite! That I didn't see. Oh, it is the collection. Okay, so two, one, one, two, and infinite. <clears throat> I still think Bioshock Infinite is the best one. Eh. Borderlands, eh. I'm not a big Borderlands guy, honestly. So, eh. I mean, I'm excited for those that want to play it, but... Mm. Just not my thing. Tales from the Borderlands is pretty great, though. <laughs> oh, XCOM. I I still haven't played XCOM too. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it with May 29th? Old enemies face off in a new trailer oh, for the I still Marvel haven't. Ultimate Alliance 3 the Black Order expansion pass. I still haven't played this. You so-called heroes have filled this world too many times. Doctor Doom. You are no match for Doom's power. I love Doctor Doom. I had an action figure of him when I was a kid. I wonder if I still have that thing somewhere in my closet. I'm not a big fan of the Fantastic Four, but I, I really like Doctor Doom. I think he has an awesome design. I love his original design. I was I was annoyed with what they did in the the new Fantastic Four, where they turned him into like. They made him look like some like weird crystallized thing. I didn't like that. Doom always prevails. Doom must become a god himself. Mm-hmm. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. I don't know what this is. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. Oh, Capcom! Sea exploration game. Oh, it's a 2.5D. Eh. Craft items and dive oh yeah, no, no. Abyss. This doesn't look like my thing. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shin Sekai's Time Attack Mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, hmm. culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. That's an interesting idea. Time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shin Sekai Into the Depths oh. is on Nintendo Switch Shadow Drop. Oh wow, Shadow Drop. Nice, nice, nice. <gasps> yes! Yes! Give me more! Free update. Enjoying island life in the Oh yeah, I love I love game? this game so much. Well, whether you're already living it up on the island or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Oh Can hell yeah. The eggs? Give me that Easter Since shit. After downloading the free update we made available at launch. One zipper T bunny will visit your island in celebration of bunny. Bunny! Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Yes, yes I can. Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. Oh my god, that looks the bunny awesome. The event only comes once a year. This time from April 1st to April 12th. So be sure to participate. I and can't guess wait. what? There's another free update coming later in April. Oh, you guys are spoiling some me. Newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account and other channels too. This game so, is so great, tuned. guys.
I've had a, I've had a blast playing it this we last hope you week. We enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Yeah, I I love Animal Crossing. Hey, look, someone's hiring. Huh? Oh, this is your dad's company. Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. <clears throat> They're trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Because good job launches today. I've really got nothing to say about this. That looks, that just looks like something. Catherine, full body, the mature action adventure puzzler is coming. Oh, bring Persona 5 to the Switch. I don't want Catherine. Relationship. Commitment phobic person <sighs> finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like Portland To be fair, I haven't played Catherine. I could I could like Catherine. love it for all I know. The sea and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. Oh, this is the the full body Your one. Choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb. See, that is my one main roadblock in this Find game. No pun intended. For our troubled bachelor in this dark, if it wasn't for the puzzle stuff, I I would have given this a try a long time ago. Nintendo Switch, July seventh. Hmm. Interesting. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. I tried that out, and it was actually pretty fun. Not this update, obviously, but. Ring fit. It's pretty fun. Oh, you get to. Oh, it's they're turning into Beat Saber. Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. That's awesome. If you want to set a high score, you got to. Oh get no, I gotta tell my buddy beat. about this. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm Up game. Girl. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll give you a work. This game actually does make you sweat. It does give you a workout. Are they gonna add more to the regular game? Your companion Ring will now have a female voice option. Oh, okay. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. Oh, interesting. Okay. We're also adding in a new hmm. jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. Hmm. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. Hmm. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Nice, nice. Good, good shit, Nintendo. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. What's this? Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution I don't know what of this Western is. RPGs. I don't I don't play these these kind of and games. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter mm. more than ever. And that so is realistic as a dragon can so look. Master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Or a skeleton army. <laughs> Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to get it, but I'm, I'm excited for those who are excited for it. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate News approaches. Are we going to get another character the that's disappointing? In Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Oh. Arms. 
Ah, I knew it. From arms. I knew that was gonna come eventually. This spider is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Oh. Please stay okay. tuned for just a bit longer. The next spider will be announced and released this June. Hmm. June. Wow. Don't miss this that was, was kind of anticlimactic. Well, at least they didn't. You know what? At least they didn't hype it up like they did with Byleth. I'll give them that. And I, I, I honestly was expecting Arms to be in it eventually. I was very surprised Arms wasn't part of the original. Uh, the original one. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. The original now, pass. All right, hell, e even even the original game, I was surprised that it wasn't added as a character. Good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Oh, nice. Square Enix time. Uh, where, where am I? Can't believe I survived. Water, wind, earth, nature's masters. Mm. The great this stone's nice. power exceeds the hand of man. This looks and if nice. Would bring down death, disaster. Oh no! Are you gonna tempt me to get this square next? Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Don't swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. Now, is it similar to the pacing of Octopath Traveler? If it doesn't have that, I'd be more Earth, interested. Home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Okay, good. Well, Set protagonist. I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. Gosh, this he JRPG also encounters goodness. two travelers. <laughs> that looks like a, a Tetsuo Nomura character. Book, Elvis and Adele. Of course, his name is Elvis. Oh, and he's We're Scottish. Or anything. I think he's Scottish. He hired me. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those dun, dun, who have dun, gotten dun, hold of dun, special dun, dun. items known as asterisks. Yeah! These allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage. Okay. Becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the empire. During battle. Oh, good. So it's a it's, it's a classic. It's a classic <clears throat> RPG system. Okay, good. System. The key to victory. And it's set for people, so. The brave and default commands. This will Choose this definitely interests me more. In order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Nice. Choose default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. <laughs> oh, you can't fell, increase the battle speed. Colder, it definitely looked like the battle speed was increased. Asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and okay. influencing uh -huh. the development of your characters. Now for a little Looks gorgeous. Wow. The of the <gasps> yes! Oh, today. fuck yeah. I'm down. In the near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and Also, they're doing the the Octopath the Traveler thing. We hope you'll participate. Oh, I'm I'm definitely playing this. 
The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Okay. Hope you're having fun. How much Let's time do we have left? Oh, we got more. Life. Shit. Okay. Cool. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Cool. Okay. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominus, okay. Speed, right. Hare and Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, hmm. Chess, so, Shogi, okay. Mini okay. Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens. Wow, that's that's a lot. Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Bowling, <laughs> Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy what? Baseball, the, uh, Battle uh, Tents, uh, oh team my god, teams, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew, that really is 51 games. Holy and shit. There are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases... I'm surprised they didn't do this sooner. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th, pre-purchase begins today. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so hmm. you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Why does this look like... Why does this remind me of Splatoon? And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. This looks like ninja Splatoon. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Like, the, the art looks so similar to, to um, Splatoon. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo-yos. Uh, not not my Your thing, but okay. Mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? I legit thought this was going to be a Splatoon spinoff for a second there. On Nintendo Switch, May 27th. It, it looked... It's free to play too. It looked like Splatoon for a second there. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Mm. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Already Star looks more exciting Jedi than Jedi, Jedi Fallen Academy Order. Launches on Nintendo Switch today. Oh, nice. And get ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is mm. coming soon. I had that game when I was a kid. Dragon riding classic. You'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships, using 360 degree controls and lock on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Okay. Mm. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. I bet. Trials of Mana. I still need to play the demo. I have that on my Steam account, but I still haven't done it yet. Fuser, huh? I don't know what this is, but okay. I don't really care about this. Ew! Oh god, ew. Ew, ew, ew. Get, no. Ew, get that out of my face. Thank you. Yuck. Ugh. Fucking Elder Scrolls Blades. Ah, uh, no. No thanks. Not my thing. Oh! Fuck. 
Finally, EA making a game that looks interesting. Oh, Saints Row 4? That was a fun game. I liked it. Oh, demo available now. I might have to try this out. There's a lot of JRPG demos out right now on Switch. Minecraft Dungeons. I could play that on PC if I wanted to, which I more than likely don't want to. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Eh, what's the big one? Now, for oh. the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion eh. Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Eh. With an expansion pass, mm. the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen... I'm pretty sure they're saving the, the big Tundra heavy hitters of the year for the June. Region. When when E3 was it's supposed to happen. To on, with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part 1, the Isle of Armor. Hmm. Okay. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon, Cub Fu, from the Master, Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Kubfu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers... Yeah, they didn't show Cribbage in that 51 games thing. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, I love Cribbage. My friend just style. told, like, texted me about that. The tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike style. Dark, and I'm supposed to be talking water. about Pokemon, but the I don't I don't really yours, care all that much alone. about this, honestly. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on- Oh my god! So, he looks hideous. Let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling- Why does my boy have, have like, hentai tentacle rape Kicking fucking things attached to it? To I don't like that. It's G -Max fireball. I don't and like the way he looks. Water, Make it go away. Feet up, it's G -Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves. And when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by mm. August 31st. No thanks. I'm good. I don't need that. Starting today, during max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. All right. Oh, that was a that was a pretty decent direct. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Um, nothing great, nothing like mind blowing, but obviously the most excited I got audibly was for the Animal Crossing shit. So, yeah, pretty decent. Anywho, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are doing okay, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.